But no, Charles was a little bit unlucky there. Well, lucky and unlucky. He, uh, he chose pitched battle chit and Messner chose the pursuit battle chit. Uh, Charles was attacking still on the 1-2 to two column. But uh, again, he made a brilliant roll. He rolled a 1, goes down to 0 with a strength point. So he inflicts 5, um, as that happens because it's pursuit, retreat hexes upon Massena. Uh, and took two strength point losses himself. Um, Massena had, had to retreat all the way back here to Neustadt, and uh, Charles um, was unlucky and rolled the highest he possibly could on the pursuit table, so he could only pursue by two hexes, ending his pursuit here next to Van Dam. Um, but he did choose to take the pursuit because it meant meant that um, Massena took some more losses. So uh, they ended up with a loss of nine for the French and five for the Austrians. Now, um, uh, the morale, which is the victory point rules, uh, give points for critical battles. A critical battle is when any side loses seven or more strength points. It's called a critical battle. Um, the so the non-retreating player subtracts the retreating player's strength points from his own. That gives us four. If it's at least two, he can roll a die. If it's less than this difference, he's going to get a morale point. So on a one to four, Charles gets what he wanted. Yes! So he's moved up to plus two. Uh, we're going to see how Napoleon's going to apply to that. It's not going to be easy for them to take Regensburg and move off the map. But at least they're in with a chance now. So it's the end of the first two days, the first term of uh, this campaign. And uh, the Archduke Charles has won a major victory um, against Massena. And uh, next turn, I don't know this game at all, it's all new to me. So I was surprised. Next turn, the uh, Austrians have reinforcements coming on here, which is also where Charles is is making for, and uh, the French have reinforcements from Munich coming here. Napoleon has, has yet, yet to move, he's moving up from Ingolstadt, um, so he'll be moving on I expect next turn, I don't think he's going to wait for his initiative roll, or not roll. Uh, let's have a look at the reinforcements. Okay, so the French have Bessieries coming on, uh, very good commander, the bonus point, and the Austrians have Bellegarde with all of these forces, so a strong force coming on. This with a pontoon bridge. This is going to give them some definite abilities. So uh, the pontoon bridge could go on any of these lined um, places. It could be useful here because they want to take Regensburg now. Um, so that Charles is. They, they need to effectively create a cordon around here taking this place and then have Charles move off the map and that will be the game winner for them if they haven't lost a pitched battle um, at that point. So this is as it stands, uh, Napoleon's here, um, his uh, centre of operations here and the Austrian centre of operations is all the way back here. Um, so you can see they have difficulties, they're going to have to act quickly to win or else then we're going to go for the historical result, the whole rest of the game, they retreat back here and uh, consolidation over um, somewhere on a, an extended French supply line. But um, we'll see how it plays out.